Welcome to Spaceverse, your portal to cosmic adventures. Earth is about to gain a temporary new moon, a rare and fascinating event that adds to the dynamic nature of our planet's relationship with space. Our planet's gravitational pull is poised to capture a small celestial body, making it a short-term companion orbiting alongside us. However, unlike our well-known and much larger moon, this natural satellite is significantly more compact. The asteroid, officially named 2024 PT-5, measures just 10 meters in diameter, about the size of a bus, yet, despite its small stature, it has captured the attention of astronomers. For a brief period of approximately two months, this asteroid will be held by Earth's gravity before it eventually breaks free and resumes its journey through space. This unusual event provides a new spin on what could be described as a moonwalk of a different kind. The asteroid 2024 PT-5 was first discovered on August 7th of this year by a telescope operated by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Alert System in South Africa. Since then, it has followed a unique horseshoe-shaped orbit around the Earth. On September 29th, the asteroid will experience a gravitational tug that will draw it closer to Earth. This encounter is classified as a temporarily captured flyby during which the asteroid will become a mini-moon for our planet, staying within Earth's gravitational field for an estimated 56.6 days before drifting away once more. Although it sounds like a groundbreaking event, this isn't an astronomical first. Earth has occasionally borrowed asteroids in this way. Smaller celestial objects like 2024 PT-5 are sometimes caught in our planet's gravitational influence, becoming temporary moons. What makes this event special is how rare and brief these encounters are and how difficult it can be to detect them. In fact, our understanding of these temporary moons is relatively recent. It was only about 12 years ago in September 2006 when astronomers from the Catalina Sky Survey in Arizona identified another such object orbiting the Earth. This object was about the size of a small car, but at first, scientists weren't sure whether it was a natural asteroid or a piece of space debris. What they did know was that this object, like 2024 PT-5, was only a temporary visitor. By June 2007, it had broken free of Earth's gravitational grasp and continued its path toward the Sun. These temporary moons provide a valuable opportunity for scientists to study the dynamics of Earth's gravitational field, as well as the behavior of near-Earth objects. While 2024 PT-5 poses no threat to our planet, its brief appearance gives astronomers a chance to further refine their understanding of how asteroids move and interact with Earth. Such events, although fleeting, remind us of the ever-changing nature of the cosmos and Earth's place within it. In the grand scheme of things, even small objects like 2024 PT-5 can offer key insights into the forces that govern our solar system. Soon, 2024 PT-5 will have its brief moment as a mini-moon before it disappears into the vastness of space, but its fleeting presence will leave a lasting impact on our understanding of these cosmic phenomena. After the initial discovery of mini-moons, astronomers engaged in lively debates regarding the significance of the event. They pondered whether this occurrence was merely a rare exception, or if Earth frequently captures small asteroids, effectively making them temporary companions in its orbit. This intriguing question remained unresolved for several years, leaving the scientific community eager for clarity. It wasn't until the spring of 2012 that a breakthrough occurred. Scientists at the University of Helsinki utilized advanced supercomputing technology to analyze the trajectories of an impressive 10 million near-Earth asteroids. Their comprehensive findings revealed a fascinating truth. Earth almost always has at least one mini-satellite with a diameter of at least one meter orbiting it at any given time. These mini-moons generally follow a predictable pattern, orbiting Earth approximately 2.9 times before ultimately escaping its gravitational pull, usually after about nine months. However, researchers discovered that some mini-moons have the capability to remain in Earth's orbit for much longer periods, sometimes extending into decades. This raises an important question. Does the periodic capture of these asteroids pose any danger to our planet? With their unpredictable paths and varying sizes, could these celestial bodies present a risk of impact with Earth? According to experts, such scenarios involving mini-moons are considered extremely rare. In fact, only about 0.1% of the objects that have collided with Earth are believed to have previously served as mini-moons. One of the most fascinating examples of this phenomenon is asteroid 2024 PT-5, which is on track to become Earth's next temporary moon. 
This particular asteroid is classified as an Arjuna asteroid, a category of near-Earth asteroids that share orbital characteristics with our planet. Arjuna asteroids typically exhibit low inclination, low eccentricity, and an orbital period of roughly one year, making them particularly interesting in the context of their relationship with Earth. Due to their orbits being aligned with that of Earth, these celestial bodies often become what are known as Trojan asteroids. While the term Trojan may conjure images of wooden horses and legendary battles from ancient mythology, in astronomy, it specifically refers to asteroids that either precede or follow a planet in its orbit around the Sun. In the case of our planet, there are two known Trojan asteroids. However, the majority of our celestial companions tend to move in a horseshoe orbit, a dynamic path that occasionally brings them within a few million kilometers of Earth. By astronomical standards, this distance is relatively small, and a similar proximity is anticipated for asteroid 2024 PT5 as it approaches our planet. This intriguing interplay between Earth and its many moons sheds light on the complex gravitational relationships at play in our solar system, inviting further exploration and understanding of the cosmic dynamics surrounding us. Between September 29th and November 25th, asteroid 2024 PT5 is set to embark on a fascinating journey, passing just outside the Hill Sphere, which is a region of influence surrounding a celestial body. During this time, it will be approximately 1.5 million kilometers from Earth, allowing it to enter the gravitational influence of our planet. The Hill Sphere is an essential concept in astronomy. It defines the area around a celestial body where its gravitational force is sufficient to overcome the gravitational pull of a more massive body that it orbits, such as the Sun. This phenomenon provides a glimpse into the complex interactions between various celestial objects and how they influence one another. Unfortunately, for those who are excited about the possibility of witnessing two moons in the night sky during this period, disappointment is likely on the horizon. Despite 2024 PT5 being one of the larger mini-moons, measuring approximately 10 meters in diameter, it remains too small and too distant to be seen with the naked eye from Earth. The limitations of our vision mean that even a mini-moon of this size will not provide the spectacular sight many might hope for. In fact, it is anticipated that PT5 will likely remain undetectable even with smaller telescopes, which are generally capable of observing larger celestial objects. However, there is a silver lining for astronomy enthusiasts is that 2024 PT5 is expected to make a return visit in the future. This potential re-encounter offers scientists and stargazers alike another opportunity to study this intriguing celestial body, providing further insight into its characteristics, behavior, and the dynamics of its interaction with Earth's gravitational field. Once the asteroid resumes its heliocentric orbit at the end of November, it will initially stay nearby. On January 9, 2025, it will approach Earth again, coming within 0.012 astronomical units, or about 1.7 million kilometers. However, after this close encounter, its temporary lunar relationship will be paused for a while. The asteroid will completely move away from Earth's vicinity and won't return until 2055. This peculiar mini-moon presents experts with a significant mystery. Despite its brief stays, 2024 PT May 5th still assist in unraveling a completely different enigma in space. However, this mystery does not pertain to Earth but to our planetary neighbor, Mus. The red planet has two moons, Phobos and Dimas, both of which exhibit unusually distinct features. Given their odd shapes, many researchers believe it is likely that Phobos and Dimas were once asteroids traveling through space before being captured by Mars' gravity and pulled into stable orbits. Yet, this is not the only potential explanation for these unique Martian companions. Regarding Phobos, another possibility is that it originated from a concentrated field of debris. An asteroid might have collided with MERS, ejecting crustal material into orbit, which eventually accumulated to form a new celestial body. Another theory posits that Phobos and Dimas are remnants of a larger, ancient Martian moon that fragmented nearly 2.7 billion years ago. In light of this captivating mystery, we must also remember that our own moon still holds many unanswered questions. To this day, we cannot definitively explain how it formed. One theory suggests a massive collision, a Mars-sized celestial body may have struck the young Earth during the solar system's early days, sending debris into space that later coalesced to form the Moon. In this scenario, the Earth could have contributed some material to the Moon's formation, but it's also possible that the process occurred in reverse. 
According to an intriguing hypothesis, our constant companion, the moon, has reciprocated by providing us with a mini-moon in return. Specifically, this refers to the asteroid Kamawala, which, at 50 meters in size, is about five times larger than 2024 PP5, and also orbits our planet as a mini-moon. While these co-orbital companions are referred to as quasi-satellites in scientific circles, astronomers have been baffled by the origin of Kamawala. Most mini-moons are believed to have been ejected from the asteroid belt due to collisions or gravitational disturbances and subsequently captured by Earth's gravity. However, the trajectory of Kamawala deviates from the typical patterns observed in mini-moons. This celestial body appears to alternate between a circular orbit around the Earth and a horseshoe orbit. As previously mentioned, mini-moons are generally not known for remaining close to Earth for extended periods. However, Kamuwala has been unusually persistent in our vicinity. In fact, it has maintained its status as a quasi-satellite for nearly 100 years, and experts believe it will remain in this configuration for at least another 300 years before reverting to a horseshoe orbit. Moreover, the shifting of its orbits could continue for hundreds of thousands or even millions of years. But what accounts for this peculiar behavior? Perhaps the answer lies in the composition of Kamuwala. Its composition markedly differs from that of typical near-Earth asteroids and bears a closer resemblance to the regolith found on the Moon's surface. Given this similarity, suspicions arose as early as 2021 that Kamuwala might actually be a lunar rock that was ejected from our satellite due to an impact. The idea that the moon could potentially provide Earth with a mini-moon is intriguing and initially seems plausible, drawing interest from astronomers and space enthusiasts alike. However, there is a significant catch that complicates this notion. For many years, experts in the field considered this scenario to be highly unlikely, if not outright impossible. The fundamental reason behind this skepticism is rooted in the physics of motion and gravity. If a fragment from the moon possesses sufficient kinetic energy to break free from the moon's gravitational pull, it typically retains too much energy to settle into a stable orbit around Earth as a mini-moon. Instead, such fragments are likely to either drift away into deep space or enter a chaotic trajectory that would prevent them from becoming a companion to our planet. To rigorously test this hypothesis and explore the dynamics of lunar fragments, a dedicated research team from the University of Arizona embarked on an ambitious study. They conducted simulations to model the effects of various impacts on the lunar surface, artificially sending virtual fragments into space from multiple locations on the moon at different angles and speeds. The results were revealing the majority of the ejected fragments failed to reach low Earth orbit, underscoring the challenges inherent in this process. However, as is often the case in scientific research, exceptions to the general trend do exist. Remarkably, approximately 6.6% of all the collision fragments simulated in the study were able to achieve co-orbital motion with Earth, at least for a temporary period. Delving deeper into the data, the researchers found that of those fragments that did achieve co-orbital status, 5.8% ended up in horseshoe orbits, while a smaller fraction, about 0.8%, exhibited a combination of horseshoe and quasi-satellite orbits. These findings highlight a nuanced understanding of the dynamics involved. Moreover, several factors can enhance the likelihood of a moon fragment entering Earth's orbit successfully. In particular, fragments that are ejected at speeds only slightly above the required escape velocity of 2.4 km per second tend to represent the most promising candidates for becoming mini-moons. This suggests that the speed and angle at which a fragment is ejected play crucial roles in determining its subsequent trajectory. Although most of the simulated objects only lingered near Earth for a short time, some exhibited stable orbital dynamics that were remarkably similar to those of the mini-moon Kawala. These findings invite further investigation into the nature of such celestial bodies and their potential origins. There is no denying that occurrences of moon fragments becoming mini-moons are rare, but the research findings strongly indicate that such phenomena are fundamentally possible. In other words, the origin of the mini-moon Kamuwala could very well be linked to our moon, opening up intriguing avenues of exploration. This highlights the compelling possibility that Kamuwala might have formed right in our cosmic neighborhood, adding another layer of mystery to our understanding of the complex interactions between celestial bodies in our solar system. And that's it. Thanks for tuning in to Spaceverse. Today, we uncovered the intriguing story of mini-moons like Kamuwala and their potential origins from our moon. 
If you enjoyed this cosmic exploration, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more exciting content. Until next time, keep looking up.